Hey right, boys, back at it again. As you can see, we're going over Kali. We got their gameplay. We got a quick rundown of what their skill and burst does. So we're gonna go through it. Also, possible theory that the website introduces, but we'll read. We'll watch this first. Firstly, just go to the actual attack animation. So as you see, a charge attack, very simple. Just charge up, shoot, does dendro. Very very simple character. You know, normal charge attack, nothing special. And normal attacks. Her skill is she turns, she just gets a boomerang, she throws a forward, it spins around, does a large area, like that's a good area in front of her, and to the right and left of her, so that's like very good range actually. Applying Dendro, doing some damage is decent, decent kit. That's nice, I like it. And then she throws down her burst, which has like the laziest animation ever but it kind of explodes you see these things coming out constantly exploding probably applying dendro and doing damage constantly and you know that's decent she does her skill again as you see large area you know probably hits the enemies it's decent i don't know if it's it's probably not gonna hit the birds in oceanid so we still have to deal with that and then the burst again exploding dealing damage applying dendro you know it's good for applying dendro constantly it would be helpful if it lasts longer, but let's see what they do. So, the skill, it does dendro damage, and do, that's it. <coughs> okay, so her burst, she has the cat, she throws it, explodes, and deals dendro damage after it, it remains constantly dealing dendro damage, and yeah, that's it. So, she does dendro damage, she has a burst, she does dendro damage. Remembering, she is a four star. This theory says that they think we're gonna get her for free because of how mind numbingly simple she is. Where she has a simple skill that does damage, and then she has a burst that does damage, and then that's it. They just apply dendro, do dendro damage with like nothing special going on. And you know, having a free dendro character is good. Also, they didn't like shy away from that when we got other free characters. Like, you know, we still got Lisa despite the fact we also got Electro Traveler. So it is possible we do get a free Dendro character in the form of Kali. It is technically possible. It might make sense. It might be cool. <coughs> Finally getting another free character. But, I don't know. Obviously, having them as a free character would be nice. Because if you're doing a multi and you get her, because she's a 4 star, her numbers are going to be underwhelming. There's no way around that. She, she's definitely not capable of making main defense. And her attacks don't even look damaging. And you're pretty much just using if you're a fan of the character. So unless her numbers are juiced up. And she puts down that burst. And each explosion is like 10k. She's not going to get much usage. So either. They put her on a banner. And you get trolled every time you see her. And you cry in despair. Or we get her for free. I'm hoping we get her for free. Purely so that I, we I don't get her when I summon her, but also that if she's on the standard banner, that'd be cool because then we get at least one Dendro character on the standard banner. You'd prefer a five star, but it, it it is what it is. I don't know how likely this theory is. It's just a theory that this you know place introduced. Like it teaches you how to use Dendro, which is technically true. The traveler also does that, but the traveler skills also normally unique. Like you know, Geo is really unique. So, let's wait and see if we get her free. That'd be sick. If we don't get her for free, and we summon her, uh, if you get, if you want her, I hope you get her. If you don't want her and she isn't super OP, uh, I wish you luck in getting the five star and being able to skip the rest of her banner. That's it. Have a wonderful day.